I'm Matt Whiting. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Horticulture and Landscape Architecture with Washington State University. And we're here this morning at the WSU Rosa Experimental Orchards. The UFO system is an architecture that I developed a few years ago in collaboration with industry. Um, it's based on a few simple principles of trying to minimize um, interpretation when it comes to pruning, um, have small repeated units, um, take advantage of the way that cherry trees like to grow, which is strongly apically dominant, very upright, um, and most importantly to facilitate the incorporation of future technologies. We're trying to create in our uh, grower collaboration test sites our compact angled fruiting walls. So we're growing trees to be trained to a Y shape, so we will have uh, two compact walls of fruit on the east and west side, and it's going to be uh, designed to match the uh, mechanical harvester. The, the model that we're following is one of grower collaboration and partnership, where we learn along with growers. And we know that for this, for the broader project to succeed, we have to be able to show that the kinds of canopy architectures and the production systems that we envision actually work, that you can grow good quality fruit, you can grow a lot of good quality fruit, and it's economical to do so. So by my just setting up a wide trellised UFO block at the Rosa and then having growers come out and demonstrate what we've done is, is, is not really a, protect, uh, a particularly effective model for outreach. Um, so we've partnered up with, with growers in this and we're planning four different sites this spring. We'll plant at least four and uh, hopefully a few more next spring. So my hope is that we can engage the industry at these various sites. We, plan, we intend to tour them uh, twice a year where we'll get uh, growers from the region out. We'll have the, the collaborator describing in their own words what was a success, what was a failure, uh, what's worked well, what hasn't. Um, we'll be collecting uh, not necessarily really rigorous scientific data, but more observations and uh, successes and failures. And so the hope overall is that we, we engage industry and, and we, we have a, a proof of, uh, of what looks to be right now a, a promising concept. We're always open to, to having growers uh, partner with us and collaborate on this project. Or just in the development of the UFO training concept. We've already had collaboration in Chile, we've got collaboration in Australia, we've got a lot of growers of course in the Pacific Northwest, we've got growers in the East Coast of the US as well, we're, we're planning to the UFO system. Um, we're even seeing growers on the west side of, of Washington State that see the, the system as a good fit with protected culture under, under covers. Um, and uh, that's the way to learn. So yeah, getting more people on board is, is definitely a, 